Now we're into the three dangerous R's. So we're going to skip through these quick. Russia, Romania, Republic of Ireland for the hat trick. There we go. Hello and welcome back to the channel. I'm Michael, aka The Crusher, and today we've got episode 128 of The Road to Ronaldinho, a big one for the series, the first icon roulette. We know how much I loved them last year, so let's get into it. So we'll start with addressing the coin balance, nearly 1.7 million, um, because I decided to get rid of a load of fodder. So got rid of uh, the honourable mentions Benzema, we got rid of a couple of Robertsons for 32k each, tw uh, Aguero 28,500 each, um, Thiago 23k, so like they're immediately selling. Uh, and then again like a load of 83s here that I'm, like, I'm never going to use and I might as well cash in. So there's a couple of reasons why I sold fodder um, over Monday and Tuesday recording uh, Tuesday night. So... Obviously, that's all them coins. Fantastic. I made 500k transfer profit this week, so I'm delighted with that. Um, and then when the Rivals Rewards comes out on Thursday, I'll be 1.7 mil. So in a very, very good position. So reason number one why fodder has gone sky high is uh, we did get a, a moment in Giroud as well. Um, that came out Monday night, 185 squad for that. The reason why it's so high is this year in review player pick. So when one of three players that released dur uh, during the previous campaigns in FIFA... Uh, through SPCs up to the 31st of December. So I think there's 83 available. Some real nice ones. Uh, play them up for Ronaldo, play them up Salah, um, play them up Vinicius. Basically, the cards you miss like Fakir, Flashback Benzema, uh, Showdown Sule, so Showdown PK. For an 85 squad, 55 chem. So 85s and 86 are selling at like near max value, and 87s are obviously selling quite high as well. So that's why I decided to cash in on that. Um, because there's only like three players I wanted from the list, so um, I decided to get rid. Um, and yeah, cashed in on that. Then there is the 81 plus double upgrades, which is why rares went up a little bit. So they're like 1,100 to 1,300. So I decided to cash in on them. And yeah, I'm uh, in a very good financial position on FIFA. Not that that actually means much, but yeah, um, milestone wise, this is what we got tonight. Very, very nice. I mean, from the outset, it looks like a lot, but when you like actually look into it, for 10 games, you get the uh, future stars uh, token, for 25 games, you get a rule breakers player, uh, for 50 games, you get a signature signings, and 75 winter wildcards. So, for the next 28 days, if you play 75 rivals or squad battles games that time, which will likely happen because you're going to get icon swaps too coming out which is what 18 squad battles games we're close to um the uh, season milestone rewards i've got another i think seven or eight to play then we'll have the new season so people playing solid like 90 games as well so i think that's fairly achievable um and decent grind as well so yeah that's uh that covered obviously the weekend league 18 and 2 not the best rewards um but then now we're going to do the first prime well, first icon roulette, and it's going to be the mid or prime icon upgrade. So I've just been doing this in the background while I've been sort of doing team of the year. Don't you really need to put anything on camera because I didn't think I was going to do it. And I started to get a load of dupes. Um, so this is the squad that we're using. So Sommer, Galatsky, uh, Inform Digne, Thiago Silva, Martinez, uh, Milinkovic, Savic, Rashford, uh, Sibitza, Kostic, Kane and Mares. Uh, and hits it with just over uh, five chemistry. So we got one, two, three, three tradable plays in there. The rest are untradable. That's why I've sold a lot off because um, it allowed me to do this SBC and have no issues with that. And we get a small, rare gold players pack. But most importantly, the first icon SBC we've done all year using uh, players. And it could be the last if it's bad. If it's bad, it's going to put me off doing them. Um, and I'll just be sticking to doing the ones in icon swaps. But yeah, let me, uh, let me crack this small rare gold players pack open first. We get bored, so it's not too bad. Hopefully it's 85. I think it is. It's Galatsky. So that's not too bad. Um, but we'll, uh, we'll put him on uh, for the club for now and sort him out afterwards. So we've got the mid or prime icon player there. Before I open it, obviously there's so many good ones out there. There's one that I want, Ronaldinho, because obviously we get the mid Ronaldinho, we'll be selling for 2 million coins. Um, and then the only other mid icon in my club is uh, Ike Casillas. I'll just show you that, just to show it. Um, so yeah, we've got mid Casillas and base village, obviously you can't get beast, so uh, base, not beast. Um, but yeah, so it's Casillas and Ronaldinho are the only mids that I've got, so if we get either of them, it will be a dupe, and um, then we're, we're either in good or really, really bad. 
So let me turn my monitor off um, and then I'll sort everything out uh, and get it up and then we'll be doing the roulette. So because I stopped my recording instead of pausing like I normally do, um, we've got Ronaldinho up, we've got the monitor off and I've opened it, sent it to the club and then looked to my right uh, and we weren't recording. So you've missed a part of me opening it and sending it to the club. Um, but you're not going to miss much, so we'll uh, we'll get rid of Ronaldinho. There's the store. Um, nothing in the store because normally it'll say my packs, won't it? Um, so let me turn my uh, monitor back on, and then we'll start Icon Roulette. So monitor back on, uh, and yeah, a bit out of practice with these because yeah, pff, I've not done one for a long, long time. Um, and hopefully now um, we're going to be rewarded. So it's left stick in. You go to uh, League. You need icons. So it's not a dupe, so it's not Ronaldinho mid, it's not Casillas mid. So you go icons, and then it's country, reg uh, like region, and we're starting at the back. We are recording, I've got a red light, that's the main thing. Starting in Wales, obviously, Rush or Giggs. It's not Rush or Giggs, that's good. Bit nervous, because this could be game-changing. Ukraine next, Andrei Shevchenko. It's not Andrei Shevchenko. Okay, so that's two bad ones out the way. Is there anything else in T? No, there's not. S, Sweden. Henrik Larsson. It's not Henrik Larsson. Spain, obviously, is top nine. We'll save to the end. Still got the red light for recording. Um, Vidic is Serbia, so it's going to pop through as the base. Okay, so it's not mid or prime uh, Nemanja Vidic. Next up is Scotland. I mean, never, never dark leash. It isn't dark leash that time. So that's S out the way. Now we're into the three dangerous R's. So we're going to skip through these quick. Russia, Romania, Republic of Ireland for the hat trick. There we go. Phew. There the bad ones are out the way on there. Portugal, we save him. Um, nothing else in P. Northern Ireland, Georgie Best. Oh my God, it is Georgie Best. It's never Georgie Best. Okay. I will take that. Mid George Best, uh, he's primed 93, I believe. Okay, that's a it's a very short icon roulette, but I will happily take that. Now we've got an issue in terms of what we do with the squad. Um, because he's very, very nice. Medium to low work rate is probably the only issue, but George Best, okay, and then just to, to confirm it, there he is. Mid George Best, so obviously it could have been a really bad one, but I'll happily take George Best. Um, in terms of value, let's go check how much he is worth. Because weren't he an SBC? Or was his base an SBC um, in season one? So 600k, I'd say that's pretty decent. Um, it's about what the SBC costs, so I can't be too mad at that. Um, it's just now, how do we fit him into the team? So, let's compare him to the two strikers. So, he's it's quite similar to Chiesa. Um, and then Martinez is better in pace uh, and physical. For my cams, Bruno is better at passing. Not as good at dribbling, better defending, better physical. So, like, he's probably going to play striker if I play him. It's probably going to be instead of Martinez. But then I lose Chiesa. Hmm. It's a tricky one. How do I get George Best into the team? Because he looks like a very good card. And when I played against him, he has been very good. My only issue is the medium work rates. But what's Bruno? High, high. What's Martinez? High, medium. Chiesa? High, medium. So... I've not had a medium low since base Ronaldinho as a sort of an attacker. So I'll look at my other attackers, what their work rates are. High medium, high medium, high medium, high high for Haaland. So, yeah. Let me let me build a new squad. Let's, uh, let's see how we can do this. Because I really want to use him because, I mean, I have... I've been just concerned for my then like I have been missing like a, a right winger, like a really good right winger. Um for like changing the formation if I ever wanted to. Like I've, I've basically been central player for most of the FIFA, like Politano, Baku there. Um right forwards, do I have any? No. And then right wing. Like I had Messi, Verde, Ziech, but 
nothing that great. So let me try a, a 4 3 3 formation. Let's go. Mm, maybe like that. Let's put George Best in there. Maybe up here then. You go Harland. Here. No. Or do I really want to play Harland on 7? Probably not. I probably need Harland on 10, don't I? Because mm. then I'd go Ronaldinho. Uh, I mean, I don't need to play there, but we can go Varane and Diaz, because obviously they're going to be playing. Diaz, uh, centre-back. Kyle Walker, right-back. Obviously, Mendy in net. Not the best, but we'll, we'll take it. And then Paqueta. So let me go. Just let me go. Uh, league earn. So then we'd want uh, Paqueta. Our. How do I get one to the centre mid? No, that wouldn't work. Like that. No, that doesn't work either. Because then Harlan needs to be on Kem. Um, how can I do this? To get everyone on Kem. Because ideally I want to start Harland. But. Hmm. This is hard to try and work out. Or do we go back to this? Ideally, say if we get the, the prime Ronaldinho as well. I mean, I'd have preferred like a DM, if I'm honest. Like a DM would have been absolutely perfect, like a, a Vieira or something. Because then maybe Awar could have dropped out. Um, and then you have like Paqueta in midfield. And then that DM comes in. So, mm. so go like that, and they're still going to be off cam, which is annoying. Hmm. Four five one. So I'll put four five one. Then you're there. No, that's not going to work, is it? No, because then. Hmm. Yeah, I'm uh, I'm kind of stuck on this one. Very very stuck. Because like he's a very good player, and also the four star four star. Just how do I fit him into the team? With the team that I have, and I'd be playing like four one two one two narrow. That's the new sort of formation that I'm trying out. Maybe it's like here, and then uh, where is he? Uh, Bruno. Like that. And then. Not Vinicius. So let's try. But then again, it's it's losing Martez and Chiesa, who've been so good in the sort of. in the 40 or 35 games that I've played with them. Where is he? Where's. um? There he is. Jonathan David. So if I play that, maybe move him there. That gets everyone on Kem. So then you play David and George Best up top. Then Paqueta, CDM, Awar and Bruno set in mid. Ronaldinho, Cam. And then I could play any sort of left back here. Well, it's either Premier League or French. It's like Premier League, which sure, which ideally I don't want to do because obviously I've, I've spoke about the sort of issues that I face with him. But other left backs that I've got, I don't really have any. Like I could play Gold Mendy, for example, and that would work. Would that work? What What do you think about that? Let us know in the comments down below because I think that could work. But it's obviously it just means losing out on. I mean, I've been talking quite long, so apologies for the longer episode, but 
obviously it means that I would be missing out on the, the, the two strikers that I've been using so far, which is Martinez and Chiesa, who've been really, really good for me. So we'd lose out on that, but it means everyone's on Kent then. I don't know. Let us know in the comments what you would do. But yeah, George Best from the middle prime icon. It's a mid, which mm, slightly annoying. I prefer the prime. Um, what is his prime actually compared to him? Let's have a look at Best. B-E-S-T. Where is he? There he is. So he's got plus three place, plus three pace, plus one shooting. I mean, it's not the greatest difference, and there's a three rating in it, so... I mean, it's actually, it's okay. Um, he's mid. But yeah, um, let me go back on that squad. But yeah, that's going to be it for today's episode. Hopefully, you have enjoyed it. If you have, hit that like button. Comment below what you got from your icon roulettes. If you've done them, what you think of mine, mid or prime, mid George Best is an L or a W. What you think of the new squad as well. But most importantly, don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.